Ah, oh, finally you're up. Yeah. And don't start on me, all right? I haven't said a word. I'm off out for the rest of the day. Right, OK. You don't want to know where I'm going? Not especially, no. What are your plans? I don't know. I'll probably just go back to bed cos I've got a splitting headache. That's my girl. Just the way to run a business. Morning. No, Jack? No, he's got the day off. Oh, so, what do you want me to do? I want Charity watched. Sorry? I want to know exactly what she's up to with Kane Dingle. Well, she's not up to anything. And how would you know? Well, it's blindingly obvious. She's not going to risk everything she's got here for a roll in the hay with Kane Dingle. She preferred drinking with him to dinner with me last night. Yeah, well, they got into Sam's own brew, she said. You know how lethal that stuff can be. It doesn't alter the fact that it was Kane she was drinking with. I want her movements monitored for the next few days. Well, I'm telling you now, so waste the time. Maybe, but as I pay for your time, it's up to me how you waste it. Chris said you'd had a heavy night of it. Mm, yeah, you could say that. Can I get you anything? Do I take it you and Chris aren't getting on too well? Is that what he said? No. But I know you spent the night in Debbie's room. Yeah. Well, that's where I intend on staying. I didn't think I'm going back in there with him. You're really missing her, aren't you? Yeah. Stupid, isn't it? Six months ago, I didn't want to have to do with her. A year ago, I'd forgotten she even existed. <laughs> what are you doing today? Oh, not much. Looking after this one. Why? It don't matter. I just thought you might fancy lunch in Arrogate, something like that. It's a bit of a performance. By the time I take all the paraphernalia and... Oh, no, it don't matter. Maybe another time. When you've sorted yourself out a nanny. The way I feel at the moment. I'll never leave this little one with anyone ever again. I knew that Debbie had never hurt Jean, you know. Yes, I know that. Give Chris the opportunity he was looking for, though, didn't it? <laughs> Don't tell me you got him lending a hand in the kitchen. Yeah. We thought it might be a nice surprise for you to come home and find your sandwich ready. Oh. Well, this is a first. You want in? Oh, hi, love. Hey. Bet you've got a sore head. Actually, I don't feel that bad. Thank you. I came to see if you fancied a film in town, Debs. Mm. Well, she's just having a dinner. Yeah, I mean, you sit down, Charity Love. Kane will make you a sarnie. Kane won't. Oh, I'll make you one, Mum. No, Debs. I'd rather grab something in Horton anyway. No, just take me a minute. Tell you what you could have. Another mug of Sam's own brew. Oh, <laughs> don't, Kane. I feel sick at the thought of it. I'm not sure you're not having one. No, well, I don't like making an exhibition of myself. Hmm. <laughs> what? What happened? Chris all right about it, was it? shut your face, Kane. Come on, Debbie, I'm not stopping here, not while he's here. Hey, and my sandwich. Well, bring your flaming sandwich, then. Hey, go on. Tell me what happened. Phoebe's cottage, and it means? Um, no vehicle. Um, nothing wider than six and six. No vehicles. Oh, that's it. And it's in a circle, so it's. T telling you what to do. That's right, it's an order. Now, what about the triangle? Um, crossroads. Hiya. Hi. You've been gone a long time. Hello, Debbie. Hey, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, Sam's lending his road signs. All <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Bit of a waste of eggs. What? We're not going to be able to sell them now, are you? Well, you can't have been at cinema all that time. What have you been up to? Oh, we went shopping and then we had our tea. Oh, looks like you bought plenty. <laughs> we did. Well, are you going to try them on for us? Yeah, go on, Debbie. No, you've got to do it as well. <laughs> well, where's Kane? Oh, I don't know. He's not here. All right, I will then. And then I'll have to go. Come on. Give them a twirl, Debbie. Oh, that looks nice, Debbie Love. Designer, and you weren't even in the sale. Oh, 
Well, that must have cost you a lot. Yeah, well, she's worth it, my kid. <laughs> there you are. What's all this? I thought you were out for evening. Look what my mum bought me. Oh, yeah, very nice. So mm. we like to see some of the tape millions going on my daughter. And she bought the outfit and the shoes. Smart. Go on. How much the shoes cost? No, Debbie. 300 quid, and she brought the bag to go with them. 300 pound would last our family for a month. Yeah, well, she always did know how to spend money, your mum. Even when she had notes. You're not supposed to tell people what things cost, you know. Yeah, I've got the legs for it, though. I'd better be going. Oh, don't. Stay and play poker. No way. Just go upstairs and get the clothes, please. No, no, don't bother. Uh, I can drop them off sometime. No, you cannot. You don't feel me, kid. I know why you're dressed up. Huh. And don't you flatter yourself. <laughs> so, did you follow her? Yeah, I followed her. And? And she stopped in all morning. And then she went to the Dingles. She and Debbie drove into Orton, went to the pictures. And they visited a couple of boutiques, hamburger and chips, and then drove back to the Dingles. And where was Kane? Well, I don't know. Well, he wasn't with them, unless he was hiding under a cinema seat. That's not funny. Where's Charity now? Well, she went in with Debbie when she took her back. And before you asked, Kane's car wasn't there. So you don't know for certain that Kane wasn't there? No, I don't. And you've left her there unobserved? Yeah, because I can't see through walls. And Kane or Charity or somebody's going to spot me. Hanging about like I'm waiting on some recovery truck. I pay you to keep tabs on her. Yeah, well, maybe you'd be better off buying one of them electronic bugging devices. In more ways than one. Where are you going? I'm going to face them down, the pair of them. Well, don't ask me to come with you. I'm up to here with your suspicions. I'm not asking you. Where's Charity? What do you think you're doing? You nearly ran me over. You stay away from my wife. All your wife is doing is visiting our daughter. Hers and mine. That has got nothing to do with what I'm talking about. It's got everything to do with it. You were the one who threw Debbie out. You can hardly rain Charity for wanting to go and visit her. Well, lay off her. Yeah? Well, you lay off Debbie. And don't you ever accuse her of doing anything again, or I just might have to tell you a few home truths about your wife that you don't want to hear. Like what? Like, what happened that night on the moors? Could start with that. What did happen? You know what? So with you, you've got no pride. No wonder Charity's fed up. I could tell you anything and you'd believe me. What happened? Nothing. Yet. But I could have her. Still could. The day I want her. She's mine. 